Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we are sin against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also, grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> I'm reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to him and asked him, where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the, to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his feet. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Her sponsor of song. Glorious things are foretold of you, O city of God. Glorious things are foretold of you. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. They shall know when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born here, and shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within me. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. O happy virgin, you gave birth to the Lord. O blessed mother of the church, you warm our hearts with the Spirit of your Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to Jesus. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. 
Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now, since it was the preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one to the Jews. Pilate, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs may be broken and they may be taken down. So the disciples came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. They did not break his legs, but one of the soldiers thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Uh, today's feast, Mary, the mother of God, I mean, mother of the church, excuse me, uh, is a relatively new feast. It was uh, commissioned by Pope Francis, and on February the 11th, 2018, just last year, the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline discipline of the sacraments issued a decree implementing Pope Francis's decision that the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, be inscribed in the general Roman calendar and observed on the Monday following Pentecost, taking precedence over conflicting obligatory memorials. There we go. That's the whole history of it. Okay, now we have been blessed because we took some time during the month of May and oddly enough we've covered this although it wasn't covered specifically under this title but we spoke about how Jesus is the head of the body he is the king but at the same time Mary his mother is his mother so as she is literally the mother of the head. We profess Jesus is the head, the church, us. We are his body. So literally, if Mary is the mother of the head, then she also has to be the mother of the body. Can how can the body exist if it's separated from the head and vice versa? So Mary, we say, is our mother also. Now, some might say, well, I'm not Catholic, I'm Christian, doesn't matter. We would say any Christian who seeks God, uh, Mary is their mother because she's the mother of Jesus. Christians believe Jesus is uh, God. But then you look at other people who say, well, I'm not even Christian. I'm another uh, religion. I don't believe Jesus is God, I, I, I may not even, uh, I think he might be a, just a good prophet, a wise sage. We would say, okay, no matter. We believe that Jesus is still God and Mary is his mother, so Mary is your mother also. And then you look at the atheist or the agnostic who may even deny the existence of God, and we would say, no matter. We believe Jesus is God, Mary is his mother, and Mary is your mother also. Because, and this is the thing that you have to look at. Well, this is the way I look at it. Let me put it like this. This is the way I look at it. I think that's better. What if, um, what if I said to you, hey, say a prayer for me? Would you do it? Most people even who may not be Christian might say, well, yes, I will pray in my way for you. I will help you. Asking God or 
whoever I believe it to help you. What's wrong with asking Mary to help us, to pray for us, to bring, uh, to ask us to, so that we can be more like her son? It doesn't hurt. So that would be my thought. Uh, we don't, as always, we don't worship Mary, but we can ask her to help us to imitate her son, to be better people today than we were yesterday. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, y'all have a good day. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let's offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for those who will watch this Mass on video. And for you who are in our church this morning, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And we pray that the infant of Prague will continue to watch over the finances of our parishes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work with human hands who will become for us the bread of life. Bless to you, God of the Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work with human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accepts the sacrifice of your hands. For the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of our fellow church. Receive our prayers, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her we may be united more closely to the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb. In giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who, by the death of Christ, are born to heavenly life. As the apostles awaited the Spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by putting down your spirit upon them like the new falls, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. 
took bread and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all that have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your days. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command of form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, to await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory, and the glory now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, you are not worthy that you should have done my will, but also say the word, and my soul shall be
Let us pray. <clears throat> Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the blessed virgin's motherly help, your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel, and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Amen. Michael, the Archangel, defend us from God. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, throw us into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious Son.